Hello everyone. Today we're in Bar Harbor, Maine. This is a beautiful, picturesque small town considered a gateway to Acadia National Park. Bar Harbor is about a five hour drive from Boston and around 50 miles from Bangor, Maine. But we arrived here by cruise ship. Yes, this was before the COVID pandemic hit. Our ship dropped anchor and then we were tendered ashore in one of the ship's small boats. It was a nice, smooth ride. You can see the natural beauty of Bar Harbor. It is really stunning. And it's not surprising that many great artists, such as Thomas Cole, have painted these views. The trip from ship to shore was around 15 minutes, and it was a real treat with striking views. Bar Harbor is located on Mount Desert Island, the old-timers from Maine call it Mount Desert Island, a pronunciation that comes from the area's French heritage. Speaking of which, this patch of water is called Frenchman Bay. We are now on land, and this small park here near the pier is called Agamont Park. It's right near the town pier. You can see in the distance our cruise ship anchored offshore. Walking through the streets of Bar Harbor is also a treat. There's so many cute shops to look at and food places galore. Mostly seafood. Maine is, after all, the lobster capital of the world. After poking around for a bit, we decided to explore the shore path, which is a very level walking path along the shore of Frenchman Bay. You can start the walk at the beginning. It starts at the harbor in front of the Bar Harbor Inn. We could have started the walk from the beginning in front of the harbor, but we decided to start the walk from Grant Park. And here you can see it's a short walk from Agamon Park. Actually, everything around here is a short walk. About halfway along the shore path is Grant Park, which is where we picked up the trail. It's a nice lush green park with some picnic tables. And then we came across an interesting looking rock. This is called Balance Rock for obvious reasons. Because this type of rock is not native to the area, it's believed that this rock was carried for many hundreds of miles by glacial ice and then just dropped here. As we're walking along the shore path, you can see a fence on the boundary between the path and people's private property. There are some historic homes and inns along the path. The path is really a pleasure to walk on. This is more like a walk and not a hike. But if you're up for something with more adventure, you can go down on the rocks and wander around there. We saw some people fishing off the rocks as well. And of course, our ship is still there out in the background. Here the path is veering away from the shore and behind people's homes. So this is where the shore path ends. And we found ourselves back on the streets of Bar Harbor. The streets are really very interesting. Everywhere we turned, there was something interesting to look at. Although there are permanent residents here, most of the people are tourists, and these shops cater, of course, to tourism. Lots of pubs, ice cream parlors, and eateries. There's also lots to do here. You can go rock climbing at Acadia National Park, you can take boat rides and visit the iconic Criterion Theater. We stopped in there for a lecture about lobster fishing and then it was time to go back to our ship. We spent most of the early part of the day at Acadia National Park. I'll make another video on our adventures there. But now we were headed back to the pier to catch the tender back to the ship. This time the tender was a larger boat, more like a ferry. That was a really wonderful day we spent in Bar Harbor. I hope to return here soon for a longer visit. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Bye.